what it do honey y'all already know what time it is it's your girl life of pinky period and i am back again with another reading for my aquas honey how y'all feeling what's going on what's it to you period what's to the aquas so we about to find out what's going on with my aquas when it comes to love honey what's going on with my aquarius when it comes to their love life what's coming towards my aquas in love all that we about to find out what's going on Let's find out what's coming towards. What's coming towards my aquas in love? What's coming towards my aquas in love? What's going on with my aquas in their love life? What's coming towards my aquas in love? Codependency. So someone could definitely be codependent on a connection that's coming towards them. Or you're already addicted to a connection that you're in. Um, you're definitely codependent on this situation or you could just have some addictions that are affecting the situation or the connection in general you could be addicted to a person that's not good for you and there's a new person that's coming towards you very soon aquarius so this is gonna it's it's gonna light is gonna be shed on this situation very soon aquarius and and now you have to decide if you know you want to keep going down this path of codependency or being codependent on a relationship or a connection or just a feeling or if you want to really truly experience true love like you know if you really want to be with somebody that's really for you or that's you know all about you instead of being codependent on a connection that does not serve you aquarius with okay we have children so children are very important to this connection or your love life is being affected by children so someone could have children i feel like maybe you put your child before you and that's okay that's absolutely what you're supposed to do but if you're you know putting your children before yourself and before your needs and before your happiness then who gonna do it for you love yourself first aquarius your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive i feel like when it comes to connections you could be in this childlike energy or that's what's being affected your love life is being affected by children which could be your inner child and this could be your person's inner child as well their inner child could be coming out in the connection as well as yours and i feel like it's slowly affecting the connection it's slowly driving a wedge between you two because neither one of you have healed your inner child so it's like they're both crying out for attention they're crying out for affection and neither one of you know how to give it so you're just kind of depending upon what it is that you already know about the connection or what it is that you already you know feel comfortable with in the connection aquarius it's definitely time to love yourself first put yourself first beforehand or before this connection heal yourself don't try to heal this person you can't heal them and you at the same time it's not gonna work come to me healed already come to me already healed aquarius that's what you tell them spirit what the messages we have for the aquarius what's coming towards my aquas in love separation there could be some separation or a separation on the horizon between you and this person or you and your partner time apart from your partner is on the horizon but there's an attraction here that's keeping you two together i feel like that's the addiction i feel like i don't want to leave but i gotta go right now but i'll be back before you know it okay so i feel like there's definitely some separation here but somebody don't want to leave but they gotta go I feel like Aquarius, that could be you. You know you got to leave. You know you need to leave. But it's like, yeah. You so attracted to this connection. You scared to leave. You so codependent upon this energy. You're scared to let it go, Aquarius. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel like definitely embrace this separation. Embrace it. Because there is some deception here. There's some deception that took place in this connection that maybe you did not know about. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Maybe you didn't know about it. Express the way you feel about it, Aquarius, because you're going to find out. It's going to come out. I definitely feel like you need to express how you feel in this situation, honey. Let them know. Like, yeah, I don't want to leave, but I got to go. Oh, I gotta do what's best for me. I gotta do what's best for my child. If there's children involved, you weren't being completely honest anyway. Express that, Aquarius. Let them know. Like, yeah, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. But this don't necessarily have to be a romantic gesture. This could be just you really opening up and letting this person know, like, hey, I know what you got going on. I know what you're doing. It's not right. And I feel like maybe we need some time apart. Okay. 
Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquarius when it comes to love? What's coming towards my aquas in love? You could also be experiencing a, a new connection, Aquarius. And I just feel like maybe this person thinks you deceived them in the connection. Yeah, let go of control issues, Aquarius. Maybe you're definitely trying to control the situation or control the narrative. I just feel like allow this. It says allow the situation to unfold naturally. So allow the situation to play out the way it's supposed to play out. You can't control the narrative all the time, Aquarius. Let go of wanting to control the situation or wanting to, you know, in the story in your book how you wrote it in your other book it's like no aquarius if this person isn't giving you the love that you deserve because you deserve love aquarius you are lovable let it go let it go it is safe for you to love it's safe for you to love like i said there could be someone new coming in towards you and you just so stuck on how this person treated you and how this separation you know and this deception sent you off the deep end baby you scared the love but it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all aquarius open your heart open your heart up hoping to never find out that you're anyone else because i just how you are and hope you never find out who i really am because you never love me Okay, but you are lovable, Aquarius. You deserve love. I just saw stabbed in the back. So there was definitely some deception that took place here. Something happened that you did not know about or you were unaware of or it happened behind your back. Could be with somebody that you knew or somebody that was close to you. I feel like your angels and your spirit guides were forcing you to look at this shit. Forcing you to see this shit. Forcing you to, you know, realize like this ain't it. This ain't it, Aquarius. This is not the fuck it. Yeah, the phoenix. So it, it helped you or it's going to help you. It's going to push you towards a new phase. I feel like you've changed your mind about this entire situation. Or I feel like this person tried to change your mind about what it is that you saw. Okay? But it triggered some type of growth in you, Aquarius. Yeah, it triggered you. You you found out what you needed with the boat being here. You got the information that you needed and you moved on. You were able to progress. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, uh, moving on closure issue so yeah you definitely found closure you found the common ground or the or the light in this situation you figured out how to come up out of this shit spirit what the messages do we have for the aquarius what the messages do we have for the aquas girl with the snake empath and narcissist paradigm so you could have definitely been dealing with the empath or you could have been dealing with the narcissist. Either way, I feel like you were definitely confused in this connection. You didn't know, you know, you didn't know how to stop it. I feel like you didn't set boundaries when it came to this person. Um, and that's where the inner child shit comes back up. It's like, you know, your inner child was telling you like this person loved you. And at the same time, their inner child was telling them the same thing. Like, I love this girl. I love this boy. Whatever, 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 but at the end of the day, that wasn't the case because love does not hurt, Aquarius. I feel like you were trapped. This person is trapped with this snake, girl with the snake. I feel like you were twisted, caught up, and confused, and just, you were being charmed or snaked by this person. You were being used, and you didn't even realize it. Yeah, it was like... It, it, the old the outdated thinking it was like the the shit just kept replaying in your head i feel like you were comfortable in this connection because of your inner child not being healed shit was going over your head or you were replaying old events over in your head you were rethinking about shit that took place and it really just you know sent you in a downward spiral aquarius and i really feel for you i really do because you saw this separation coming you seen it coming that's why you tried to control the narrative, the butterfly. That's why you tried to control the narrative. That's why you tried to see the good in the situation. But at the end of the day, you got what you needed and you moved on. You understood the assignment. Okay? Heart with the key. You understood the assignment. You knew you had to let this go so that you can welcome me a new love. So that you can meet the one. So that you can open your heart to finding this love that you deserved. 
Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquarius? This boat card definitely just came back out. So, Aquarius, you definitely figured out what you needed and you moved on. You ascended from this shit. You ascended from this deception. You, you, you learned from this shit and you moved forward. You expanded. You're on a new phase, Aquarius. It's showing up twice. You could be preparing yourself for this union. This person could have made you feel like you were not enough or what they were given was not enough, Aquarius. And you realize that. You got frustrated in this connection or frustrated in this situation. It caused some type of, you know, fear or some type of ego issues with the inner child. Like I said, not being healed. There was definitely um, somebody here with a lot of lack of confidence. Like, you know, you, you really didn't feel like... Okay camera died but like i was saying you definitely didn't feel like there was anything better out there for you but you know once you realize what it was you ascended from this shit you let it go you realize there was you know not enough attraction or not enough you know emotions or not enough love not enough nothing to keep you in this connection keep you stuck and trapped in some shit that was not working period you gathered the confidence that you needed you found the confidence and you let it go aquarius a hundred percent. I commend you, spirit. Two more messages for the aquas. Passion. Yeah, there was some insane chemistry here. You could have very well liked each other equally, or you just were having fun, or maybe this is what this person thought. You were having fun. And that's okay. I feel like definitely when it comes to um, your control, you're definitely passionate about what it is that you, you know, want to have control over and, and you're very passionate about how you see your life playing out for you. So I definitely feel like, you know, the chemistry that was there, it was insane. It was an insane chemistry, but it's like you liked each other equally, but then slowly but surely shit started coming up. Shit started showing that, you know, there could have been a third party connection, a third party interference that was taking place. And you, you realize that the passion that you had it was only in you. It was only in you. Or maybe the passion of this connection is what controlled you. I don't know. I just feel like there was some um, hooking up done behind your back. Some type of flirting or, or temptation or something here that took place that caused a lot of deception in this connection. There was definitely a third party situation here. With the Grim Reaper and it ended Aquarius. It ended. The connection had to end. It's like the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. It's done, Aquarius. If you want the abundance that you deserve and you you know you know that's coming towards you, you have to let this shit go. It's almost like it's holding you back. So now you're trying to keep a, a positive mindset, and that's 100% all you're focused on right now. Keeping a positive mindset, manifesting exactly what it is that you want. Coming into this abundance, whether it's love, whether it's money, whatever it is. Yeah, this separation is not going anywhere, Aquarius. It's going to take place. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. This could have been your soulmate. This could have been a soulmate connection, but it's like... You know, sometimes, you know, it's it's not the right time or place for the connection or for the partnership or for the agreement to take place, for the soul contract to take place. I feel like now you are definitely going through separation with this person. This person is very sad, very much missing you. And maybe you feel the same way, but I feel like even though this could have been your soulmate at the end of the day, you're trying to heal. Period. It's showing up. You're trying to heal. This person was always running from this connection. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. Aquarius. This person was definitely always running from this connection that you were codependent on. This was a codependent connection. I feel like you were codependent on the energy that this connection brought. Aquarius. And once you found out what it was, the dragonfly, once you find, found out, you know, you... you Try to be hard-hearted, but you couldn't. You couldn't. Shit came to light. You had to adapt to it. You had to make changes, you know, to yourself or to the, the way this situation left you. You had to make certain changes to bounce back from that shit, to heal. We got twin flames here as well. So this very well could be your twin flame and soulmate all in one. But it's like, okay, you know, y'all complement each other very well. You're very, you know, you, you were able to balance each other out. There was a, you know, a lot of duality, a lot of things that you did alike, a lot of shit that, you know, couples do together you you were able to complement each other very well your energies matched your you, you were able to balance each other out there was this yin yang energy where they were positive you were dark where they were dark you were positive it was like it was the perfect mix but at the end of the day 
you found out some some shit, some information, you gained some clarity or some type of truth about the connection and you were forced to move forward by yourself. You were forced into this separation, Aquarius. And it's okay. It's okay because twin flames and soulmates, they come back around. <laughs> They come back around. So maybe this was not, you know, this isn't the realm for you guys. This isn't the, you know, universe for y'all. Maybe in another parallel universe, you two are happily ever after. But it's like right now in this universe, that's not the story that was written. Okay? You can always rewrite it though. You feel me? So yeah, Aquarius, don't let that shit, you know, fuck with your head. It is what it is. It is what it is, Aquarius. Stay solid. Stay true to who you are. No matter what this connection is doing to you, don't lose yourself, okay? I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell, honey, so you won't miss out on the next drop. Like I told y'all, I'm probably dropping two, three, two, three back to back today. So, yeah, stay tuned. But I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace, love, and light. Peace out, kings and queens.